Hi guys, it's Suzanne and I'm back again with another video and this is just my monthly manicures for July 2023 and if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here for a while, somewhere on the screen I will put a time drop description description a time drop of when I will start my monthly manis because if you're new here I'm going to explain my rating system and if you've been here for a while you've already heard it and you don't want to hear it again I'm sure so if you're new here I do rate my manis from one to five one being the worst five being the best and these ratings are based on um mainly song titles but some of them are song albums so I'm just going to go through how I rate them so you'll understand what I'm talking about and then we'll get into the manicures so again, I rate them one to five. One is the worst, and that one gets a rating of hot dog flavored water. And that is actually um, an album from Limp Biscuit. And number two is How Could You Do Somebody Like That, which is a song from Boiler by Limp Biscuit. Number three gets um, a rating of Cause Your Mouse Writing Checks That Your Ass Can't Cash, which is Full Nelson, a song by Limp Biscuit. And four is that one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you, which is a song called Play With Me by ICP. Um, and number five is Here's What It Looks Like Being the Best, which is a song called A Cut Above by Avery Watts. So it's just kind of like a little quirky thing I do. And just remember when you're watching this, I am rating the manicure, not necessarily the polish, even though I'll probably discuss some of that too. You know as I go into it but it's a rating based on how the manicure came out or how it looks not necessarily how the polish brand is or how the polish <clears throat> excuse me um, you know how the polish formula is basically so okay let's get right into the manis so hi everybody this is um, gonna be another long video so prepare yourself <laughs> prepare yourself. Um, this month I wore 19 manis with 39 polishes and if you see me looking down it's because I'm looking at my little notebook which tells me you know um, all these polishes because I can't remember 39 polishes but again I wore 19 manis with 39 polishes. So for the first uh, mani I wore I wore one polish by Don Diva, and this is called Candy Casserole. I don't know if you can see this, and this is basically like, um, it does have the OGUP, the unicorn, the original unicorn pee in it, supposedly. Um, it was very shimmery, very shiny. Um, in my pictures, you will see with this one, I wore a blurring base coat, two coats of polish, glitter grabber, and a glossy top coat. This was super glowy. It was super cute, super pretty. It just has a bunch of different glitters in it. So I did use the clips to remove it because this would be difficult to remove without clips. Um, if you are wearing glitter polish and you're not using clips, you're going to tear your nails up. You need to invest in some clips um, or a peel off base coat. I personally, <clears throat> excuse me, I personally don't have a lot of experience with peel off base coats. I think it's because, um, I don't know I'm old school I guess and you know I'm older and you know we were always taught do not peel your nails do not peel your nails that was one thing I always remember hearing so just the concept of a peel off base coat kind of like in my mind is like I don't know about that so I always use clips but if you are wearing a glitter um any type of glitter nail polish and you are not either using a peel off base coat or a clips you are going to tear your nails up and you need to get them clips are like under five dollars on Amazon so um you know, just get some. But anyway, this was a beautiful manicure. It was super glossy, beautiful polish. Like I said, I used the clips. I rated this a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because it didn't really fall into the four category. It was just kind of, you know, right there on the border of in between, but still a beautiful polish nonetheless. Okay, so for the next manicure, I wore two polishes. I wore She's a Classic from Morgan Taylor, and I believe this came out in their Clueless collection. Yeah, duh, Clueless, like me. Um, <laughs> they come out in their Clueless collection, and it's just like a really, really bright, hot pink, super pretty, super pretty. And I also wore with an accent nail, Could Be Bigger by BCB Lacquer. I just got this recently, and it's kind of like a cobalt flaky balm, and it's got like orangey 
reddish flakes and cobalt blue flakes in this. Um, these look very, very cute together, I thought. Um, in my manicure pictures, you'll see I wore a regular base coat, two coats of polish, and a glossy top coat. Um, this is easy removal because this is flakies, not glitters. Um, it was beautiful, but this Morgan Taylor, she is bright. She is a brighty, which I love. I love bright polishes. I wind up writing this a four because one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I cannot wait um, to wear both of these. Both amazing polishes. Super cute, amazing polishes. Okay, so next up I wore one polish. It is from Cadillac and it is I Am The Danger and it is like just like um, kind of looks like a slime green with like orange flakies and I think there might be some like golden flakies in there there you kind of see it with my light um super cute um now I do want to say this I have a lot of um colored base coats that I got kind of obsessed with and so sometimes I will wear, they, you know, they're like considered blurring base coats, but they're colored. Sometimes I will wear colored base coats that you don't necessarily probably need with most polishes, but I already own them, so I might as well wear them. So I did wear a greenish colored blurring base coat with this. I don't think you would have needed it, but I did wear it. Three coats of polish and a glossy top coat. I loved, loved, loved this. I did use the clips to remove it um, because it does have glitters in it, so that makes it difficult. But this was a beautiful polish. I rated it a four that one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I cannot wait to wear this one again. She's a good and definitely a good polish. Okay, then my next manicure, I wore three polishes. Okay, I wore three polishes. I wore China Glaze Kid in a Candy Store, which is just kind of like um, a bubblegum, like a light bubblegum pink pretty polish and then I wore glisten and glow you glow girl which is just like a white base curly but it has like um glitters in there that are like pink kind of the same color as the china glaze and blue which matches this other china glaze that I wore with it and the last one I wore was a china glaze and this is called freezer burn and this is just kind of like um a cobalt blue cream. I think this came out in their summer collection this year, and I wore these three together. I thought it was a very cute manicure. In my pictures, I wore a regular base coat, two coats of polish, glitter grabber only on the glisten glow, and a glossy top coat. I did use the clips to remove the nails that had um, the glisten glow because it is a glitter, but other than that, it was easy removal. I rated this a three because um, your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because I think it looked okay together, but I don't know. I think it looked okay together. It matched, I think, but it wasn't my favorite, but still a super cute. All these polishes were super good polishes. Um, Let's see. The freezer burns kind of like, you know, that's that collection people talked about because it's kind of like, um, like kind of like more like a jelly consistency, but it's definitely a cream it's not a jelly so it's kind of like runny but I didn't mind it but still super super cute polish just didn't quite make the four category so just kind of fell you know right in the middle and then next up I wore oh my gosh I wore a lot I wore one two three four four five five polishes okay I do remember this manicure this was my attempt at nail art and when you see the picture you'll know why I don't do nail art very often I know that if I you know would do it more often I would get better but I don't know who has the time for that I mean you make the time for whatever you want so I shouldn't have said that because you make the time for whatever you want in your life I do I'm a firm believer of that if you really want to do it you will make the time for it but Every time I do nail art, it doesn't really turn out that great, so I don't tend to make the time for it because I don't want to spend the time, you know, doing all that. And I take off my manicures every other day, sometimes every day, if I really hate them or just dislike them. So it kind of, it's, it gets kind of hard to spend quite a bit of time doing um, a nail art project when you know it's just going to come off your nails in not too long, and I'm not very good at it, so that makes me not want to do it, but... Um, because this one took 
probably a good two hours, more than two hours because you had to let the one, you had to let, you'll see in my picture and understand what I'm talking about, but you know, I had to let the white base dry, then I had to do the colors. So basically what I wore on every nail was Moon Cat's White Rabbit, which is just a white cream. This is a beautiful white cream. I love this white cream. Moon Cat makes amazing creams. If you haven't um, used any of their creams, they're amazing. And then I just kind of did, you'll see my pictures, but I just kind of did like a little um, diagonal play on like a French manicure, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it would look good in my head. And I do think it turned out okay, especially since I haven't done any type of nail art in probably, I want to say a year and a half to two years. So I think it turned out okay. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. And then all the rest of the polishes came from Fair Maiden that I used. Um, I used Blackberry Milkshake, which is this really pretty light, um, blue cream super pretty and these these fair maidens had a super amazing formula then on one nail i wore blue raspberry slushy which is just kind of like like an orchid purplish pinkish cream like i said these creams were amazing from fair maiden then on the next one i wore cherry popsicle which to me is kind of more like I don't know. I guess it does kind of look cherryish in the pictures. It's like kind of like a cherryish orangey leaning color, if that makes any sense. And then last, I wore mango sorbet or mango sorbet. I say it's sorbet. I don't know. Um, which is just like an orangey color. So I wore all of these. And um, on the pictures, I used a regular base coat, two coats of each polish, and a glossy top coat. This was easy removal because they were all just creams. I rated it a two. How could you do somebody like that? Because in my mind, you know, when I'm planning this nail art project, um, in my mind, it looked a lot better, you know, in my mind than it turned out on my nails. But still amazing polishes, just, um, you know, just my error because I'm not a nail art person, but still amazing polishes. Okay. Then on my next manicure, I wore two polishes. I wore Tomorrowland by Rogue Lacquer, which is this beautiful, this polish right here. Woo, she stole the show of this manicure. She stole the show. This is an amazing, like, blue flaky bomb, but it's got, like, green flakies in there. I don't know if you can kind of see it in the light there. I'm trying to catch it, but, oh, my gosh, this, woo, she's a good one. And then I also wore it with party like it's 1999 by rogue which is um a pink polish and it's got black flakies and it has a really pretty like glow there you go you can kind of see it there glow um i wore these two together and um if you don't know rachel from rogue lacquer she makes rogue lacquer she's the owner and the maker of rogue lacquer she had like um a facebook live when she revealed this collection um imagineers or something like that imagineers land of imagination <clears throat> excuse me it was like a four-piece collection she had like a facebook live showing them off and this um party like it's 1999 came out the collection before for um i believe it was like her rose anniversary and um she actually said that these two would go good together um, if you had picked up this pink, she said it looked good with this collection. And on the swatches that she did, to her credit, it did look good. And at home, I swatched it on my swatch wheel before I did it. And I thought it looked okay. But together, I don't, you know, I don't think they went, I don't think they would went good together. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. It is very pretty in the bottle, but I don't know if I liked it on my nails. I might try to wear it one more time and then it could possibly go in the giveaway. But this girl here, this Tomorrowland, she stole the show. She stole the show. This one was. And after seeing it on my nails, I wish I had wore it by itself. Because, you know, this being with it took away from this one's beauty. Um, but they're both amazing polishes. Both good flaky bombs. Easy removal because they're flaky bombs. I wind up rating this a two. How could you do somebody like that? Because I went into it thinking this would be cute. But, um... The party like it's 1999 just took away so much of the beauty of Tomorrowland and Tomorrowland was just like, woo, and she was so beautiful. She should have worn, been worn by herself, in my opinion, 
or maybe possibly with something else, but I just didn't think they look good together. But still, um, beautiful, beautiful polishes, just not beautiful together, if you get what I'm saying. So next up, I wore one polish from BCB Lacquer. This is when life gives you melons. And this is just a green polish with, it's got like pinky flakes in it or glitters. Yeah, pink glitters and black um, little glitters, micro glitters, I'm assuming in it. Um, if you look at my picture and this is user error, I think it's on like my ring finger and my pinky. Um, they definitely could have used, you know, three coats, but I remember this polish. I was painting them after my husband went to sleep. So I had really bad lighting and it looked like it was opaque, but it was not on my index finger. It is opaque, but some of my fingers could have used a third coat. In my pictures, you'll see regular base coat, two coats of polish, and a glossy top coat. Now, that was definitely user error on my part. It's nothing to do with the polish. It just needed three coats in some places to make it not um, patchy, I guess is what you would say, or to make it opaque. It definitely needed three coats in some but I didn't see it. I did use clips to remove this because there is glitters in here. The issue I have with this polish, it's a beautiful polish. It's just like it's kind of upsetting. Not really. I mean, like really, get for real. Is it really that upsetting? No, Suzanne, it's not. But it was kind of upsetting because when I bought from this collection, this is the polish I wanted. Like this was the one I loved. And even on my index finger where you can see where it is painted good with three coats, I don't like this on my nails. I just don't, and it's like, this is the polish I wanted from that collection, so this one is definitely going into the giveaway, um, because I just don't like it, I don't really know why, because this, like, this screams, this is my type of polish, I love a green like this, I mean, I love any green, but I love a green this shade, I love, you know, pink glitters, black glitters, I love a good crelly like this, but I just didn't care for it on my nails, like I said, in the swatch pictures, when I purchased this, I was in love, but on my nails, I just didn't like it. So I did wind up rating this a one hot dog flavored water because I just didn't care for it. And this is a polish. If you subscribe to my channel and you follow, you will see this in a giveaway, you know, at a future date. Um, but, you know, beautiful polish. The formula is nice. I just didn't, I don't know. Like I said, it's the reason I went that, that month or whatever. Um, and bought from her collection that time, but I don't know. I just didn't like it on my nails, so so it has to go because if I don't love it, I can't keep it. So you'll see that in a giveaway. So next up, I wore two polishes. I wore a polish from Swamp Gloss, and this is called Maxwell, and it is just a really pretty gray crelly with these hot pink glitters and black glitters. Super cute polish. And I also wore um, Dippin' Dots Birthday Cake, which is another beautiful pink. Um, and in my manicure, I wore a regular base coat, two coats of Birthday Cake, three coats of Maxwell, Glitter Grabber on Maxwell, and a glossy top coat. Um, I use clips on the nails that contain the swamp gloss because they do have glitter and you know you just need clips for removal but other than that easy removal I don't mind the clip method I know some people hate it but except for the extra time because it does you know it's not like when you do a cream you know or a flaky it just doesn't come off except for the extra time I don't mind it I don't mind doing the clip method I rated this a four that one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I can't wait to wear both of these again, super amazing polishes, super beautiful polishes. Mm, it was a good one. Super cute manicure. Okay, then next up, I wore one polish from Paint It Phalanges, and this is Oops, and it's kind of like another, um, it's like more, I don't think it's a true neon, but it looks like a neon greenish to yellow. Um, with it's got like little blue flakies in here and I believe silver flakies this is super cute um this is another one I did wear a blurring base coat with it only because I have a green blurring base coat so I wore a colored green blurring base coat three coats of polish glitter grabber and a glossy top coat this is a polish though that inside it looked very muted but once you got it outside whoo it brightened up 
it brightened up. I don't know if this one, I don't think with this one I wind up taking an outside picture. So you are going to see my inside muted pictures. Um, so, but I did love it. You know, I wish it was, um, I wish it was the way it looked outside all the time in the brighter lights, but you know, we can't have everything we want, but it was a super pretty polish. I rated it a four that one day I'll get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I cannot wear, wait to wear this one again. But super good. Like I said, in my camera right now, it's coming off how it looked outside. So hopefully you're seeing it in the bright. But my pictures will show the more muted color because they were taken inside, if that makes sense. But super cute polish. Okay, so then for my next manicure, I wore three polishes. I wore <laughs> Neltopia Bird of Paradise, which is another, um, I don't think it's technically a neon, but it's kind of like a neon, but definitely, a, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's technically a neon, but to me it's a neon, but it's definitely a bright pink. And that is one thing I found out that <laughs> these, these colored pinks match so much stuff. Um, I was just like, like, I think this month and last month I wore every pink that I, that's like bright like this that I own, I think. I might have one more left in my collection that I haven't worn because they just match so much stuff, which was just, I never thought, but it did. Um, and then I wore Night Owl's Lacquer Gumdrop Soup, which is just a really fun, I think if I get too close, you can't see it. Um, yellow Crelly. Um, it does kind of look like a gumball machine. Um, it's just a yellow Crelly with glitters of blue, red, orange, purple, green. I think it's pretty much every color, but it does kind of look like a gum ball machine. Um, it's kind of hard to get it to see perfectly in my lighting. And then I wore a sinking feeling from moon cat. And this is like a blue. Oh my gosh. And this blue coloring on this moon cat. I mean, I love moon cat creams. I've talked about that before, but this blue coloring, it was amazing. Just the coloring of it. Ooh, it was a good one. It was a good one. So I wore these three together. I wore regular base coat on the Moon Cat and the Neltopia on the um, Night Out Lacquer. I did wear a yellow, a yellow, a yellow blurring base coat because, like I said, I own one, so I might as well use it. Um, I wore two coats of the Neltopia. No. No topic. I wore two coats of the Neltopia and the Moon Cat, three coats of the Night Owl Lacquer, Glitter Grabber on the Night Owl Lacquer, and a glossy top coat. I used clips to remove the Night Owl Lacquer, but other than that, it was, you know, easy removal. Again, this blue from Moon Cat, I just remember it being, mm, it was so pretty. So, so pretty. I wind up right rating this a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because it just kind of fell in the middle. It didn't really deserve a four, even though all these polishes um, alone were amazing formulas, amazing polishes, but it's still just together. It didn't really deserve the four rating, but still really pretty, really pretty polishes. Oh my gosh, this next polish. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, so then on my next polish, I wore one polish and this is from night owl lacquer and this is radioactive this is oh my gosh i might venture to say this is my favorite polish in the whole world i might and i never buy backups because i have so many polishes but i am contemplating getting a backup of this because i, I know i don't need it so i'm trying to talk myself out of it because i'll probably never use all of this but this oh my gosh this is Definitely in my top 10 greens, top 10 polishes. Oh my gosh, I was just in love with this polish. In my pictures, you'll see I did wear a gleam. A gleam. I can't talk today. I have that problem a lot, I think. <laughs> I did wear a green um, blurring base coat because I have one. I don't think you would need it, but I did wear it. Um, Two coats of polish and a glossy top coat. This was easy to remove because it's just a basic green. But, oh my gosh, this was just, like I said, I hate to say it. I don't hate to say it. I don't know why I said that. I mean, I hate to put that out there, that this might be my favorite polish in all the land. <laughs> but it might be. Oh my gosh, this was just 
mm, I rated this a five. This is what it looks like being the best. This was so pretty inside, outside. It was bright. It didn't need, you know, giant, you know, lights to make it brighter. It was bright in both lightings. It was stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, like I said, I rated it a five. This is what it looks like being the best. I can't wait to wear this again. I may purchase a backup. I probably won't, but I want to just, just keep that out there in your minds and know that I do want to purchase a backup, but I probably won't just because, you know, I don't, I don't need a backup. I'll probably never wear that. You know, I'll probably, yeah, I know it sounds morbid, but I'll probably die before I wear that, but not before I wear it again, but before I finish that whole bottle, but <sighs> she's got me. She's got me. You know, I just want her beautiful. Okay, so then for my next manicure, I wore three polishes. I wore from Cirque Colors Cushy, which is just, um, I think they do consider this a neon. It's kind of like um, a neon green cream. I also wore from Moonshine Manny Mike Hannigan, which is a white Corelli, and it has like all these like neon colored glitters. There's yellow, there's blue, there's purple, there's pink. This is such a cute little little you know polish so cute and then i also wore from cirque colors electric daisy which is also one of their vice whatever that is it's like a they they uh what is it what is it <laughs> it's like their neon collection and they call them vice i don't know why but they bring back certain colors from their vice collection every year and i think this was it wasn't this year's but I think it was last year's Vice collection. Both these two, the uh, Cushy and the Electric Daisy, came out of that collection. This year's Vice collection um, was pretty too, but I just didn't purchase it. But I wore these three together. Um, I did wear a white blurring base coat um, on all of them. I wore two coats of Cushy, three coats of Mike Hannigan and Electric Daisy, a glitter grabber on the Mike Hannigan, the Moonshine Manny, and there is a hair that will not leave me alone, and a glossy top coat. So you'll see my pictures over here. I did use clips on the Moonshine Manny because it's a glitter polish just to, to get it, um, you know, to help get those glitters off, but I do think it was still easy to remove. Other than that, I wind up rating it a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because it just didn't fit into the four category, but all these polishes are amazing, 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 amazing. Okay, let's see. My next polish I wore, okay, let's see, I wore a lot. One, two, three, four, five. I did like a neon Skittle and I wore five polishes and um, all these polishes are from Restored by Polish and I wore, um, okay, I'm trying to put them in the order I wore them. Okay, I wore Righteous Orange, which is just a bright neon orange. These are all from, gosh, I should have looked this up. I think I don't know if it's like their 80s collection or their 90s collection, but it's basically um, neons. So I wore that. Then I wore Totally Tubular Green, which is um, just a beautiful neon green. And then I wore Valley Girl Pink, which is like their hot pink neon pink, neon pink. And then I wore Killer purple which is their neon purple and then over top of it I topped it with their um, topper that came with that collection and it is called stoked on neon and it's basically just a clear base with all these neon glitters there's uh, like a yellowish green a blue a red a pink um, so I wore all these together. If we can get them up in here, kind of, you can kind of see them. But I wore all these together. In my pictures, I have a regular base coat all over all of them. Two coats of polish, one coat of the topper, 
um, glitter grabber and then a glossy top coat. I did use the clips to remove these because of the topper because these are just basic creams but that topper brought in the glitter element which makes it you know more difficult to remove so I did use clips on this. These are amazing polishes, um, super beautiful polishes. I did wind up rating it a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash. I can't wait to wear these again but I did wind up rating it a three because it wasn't really, you know, it was just kind of right in the middle. I think they would have looked better if I wore them differently, but ooh, I think they would have looked better if I wore them differently. But at the time I was thinking, ooh, I'm going to do this amazing neon Skittle that I see, you know, everyone do, but I don't think it looked as good on my nails as I see on everyone else's. But the, the polishes were amazing. Formula is amazing. Super great brand, super great polishes, just, um, wasn't my favorite as far as putting them together. So next up, okay, let me see. I have these out of order. Sorry, I have my polishes out of order, so I'm like, I don't know what I did. Okay, I just have my polishes out of order, but that's okay. Um, next up, I wore this polish from Red Panda Lacquer, and it is called paper fairies and this is a new to me brand i do have a video on it but it probably won't be out before this one comes out she was um the maker was moving and she had a 50 percent off sale so i wound up picking up a few things because this was um a brand that last black friday was on my black black friday to buy list but i couldn't buy everything and some things had to go and this you know this brand just didn't make the cut but i had to um do some type of orientation at my school where I was meeting new people and um, whenever I meet someone new like after they've met me once they're gonna get the neon wild nails but if it's somebody like I mean I hate to say somebody I'm trying to impress but somebody I'm trying to give a good impression on the first time I meet them like a job interview or something like that I will wear a more muted or neutral toned down color so I picked this one but you guys this was the formula was amazing but this was oh my gosh this was beautiful i couldn't get over how beautiful this was because i was like you know it's the middle of summer i did not want to wear a boring old neutral right now you know my nails want to party it's summer they want to be out you know but like i said i was doing an orientation for school meeting some of um you know important people that are going to be in my life that you know i don't want to the first time they meet me have these bright fluorescent nails and always be remembered as the girl with the nails even though that's probably how I am remembered eventually but you know you're just making that first impression so I wanted to wear you know something muted something neutral something you know neutral this is like a really pretty pink and I don't know if you can tell or if it's going to come off in my pictures but there is a really pretty shimmer in here and a glow this was stunning in my pictures I have a pink blurring base coat because like I said, I already own them, so I might as well use them. Three coats of polish and a glossy top coat. This was so pretty. I could not get over it. Easy removal because it's just a cream with some type of shimmer in it or it's like a shimmer, whatever you want to call it. This, I could not get over how pretty. I could not stop looking at my nails. I wind up rating this a five. This is what it looks like being the best. And I bought a few others. Um... From this brand when I bought this during her sale I'm gonna try those and if the formula was as nice as this this is a brand that I will definitely purchase from in the future like I said this was my first time trying it and like I said I could not get over the beauty that this girl beheld upon me that she had hidden secretly in this bottle because I remember thinking this is nothing special nothing special but she she was special 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 beautiful beautiful polish I could not I can just remember I could not I was kind of like oh I don't like I said I don't want to wear this right now because it's summer I want to be you know having fun and wearing my bright colors but she was beautiful she was well worth the the sacrifice I had to make <laughs> she was well worth the sacrifice I had to make in my life but very very pretty polish okay so next up I wore no duh from uh, Lynn B Designs. This is a polish that I twinned with um, just Manny. Just Manny. Oh my gosh. Duh. This is a polish I twinned with just Livy. 
don't know why I said just Manny. This is a polish I, t I did. A, I did a manicure polish with Just Living. And um, we did a twin together. And if you, you probably already are subscribed to her channel. But if you are not, I will drop her information below. Or you could search on YouTube Just Living. She does an amazing channel where she talks about nail polish. She talks about a few other things too. But she talks about, you know, it's mainly nail polish. She's another nail polish lover like me. But um, go check out Just Living's channel because, like I said, it's amazing. If you like my channel, you'll love her channel. Um, but we've been doing a few twins together and having, you know, a little bit of fun just twinning. Just twinning and wearing these polishes together. But in my pictures, I did wear a yellow blurring base coat because I have one, like I keep saying, two coats of polish and a glossy top coat. This was easy removal because it is just um, like a flaky. It's like a, a flaky bomb. It's not, yeah, a flaky bomb. It's a flaky polish. Um, I actually like the amount of flakes that were in this because it's not like, I guess it, most people wouldn't probably consider, they would just consider just this just a normal flaky polish, not technically a flaky bomb because it's not covered in flakies. But this is actually the amount of flakies that I prefer in a polish. Um, some of them that are like, like this would be considered a flaky bomb. The BCB, even though this was beautiful, I liked it too. I kind of prefer it when they're not so dense with the flaky bombs, but this was very pretty. Um, easy removal. The only problem I have with this polish, this was another color changing polish, like outside or in, like when I was at school or when I was outside, because school has these really bright lights. When I was outside, it looked like rays of sunshine had dropped down and fallen onto my nails. It was like, if you like bright polishes, I loved it. But inside, it got muted and kind of looked like a sad, like, Sierra, Sierra Desert. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't really look like the Sierra Desert. But um, just outside, like, I would have preferred that it looked the way it looked outside all the time. Because it literally was, like, when I was outside or at school, it was like rays of sunshine had fallen onto my nails and I remember when I was at school I was like I could not concentrate because I could not stop looking at my nails but inside my personal house without the lights just with my normal you know home installed lighting it did get very muted so that moved this one down to a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash if it could have stayed bright this probably would it definitely would have gotten a four it possibly wouldn't have would have gotten a five but it's still a great formula good polish just I don't like I didn't like the indoor normal lighting color rain of it and I think I will try to insert like a what do you call that a collage picture where you can see both colorings but again beautiful polish um you know just liked it better outside and again that was a twin mani I did with just living and like I said I will have her linked in my description check out her channel don't forget check out her channel and then Next up, I wore two polishes. I wore this from Serp Colors. This is Socialite, and this is another one that came out, I think, not, not this year, but last year in their Vice Neon collections. Um, I don't think this is a true neon, but that's what they, I'm pretty sure that's what they call that Vice, it's a Vice Neon collection, but it's a really, really pretty um Pink. It's a bright pink, but I don't think it's a neon. And I also paired it with Noodles Nail Polish, Roses, and Raindrops, which came from PPU March 23, so earlier this year. And this is just like a, a blue Crelly with, it's got like pink and red and white glitters in it. It's supposed to look like, I guess, um, raindrops on roses. It's very pretty. Um, I wore regular top coat, two coats of polish, glitter grabber on the noodles, and a glossy top coat. I did use the clips to remove the noodles because it's a glitter. I wound up rating this a two. How could you do somebody like that? Because normally I love noodles, glitter, crellies, and this in the bottle is so beautiful. But I just didn't really care for it on my nails. I think I'm going to put this in the giveaway too. Um, I don't know. I just didn't love it on my nails, but... Um, both nice formulas, beautiful polishes. I just didn't, I think they looked good together. I just didn't, for whatever reason, care for the noodles. So I am going to put that one in the giveaway. We are almost done. I promise. 
<laughs> well, these are like long videos. Okay. So next up, I wore three polishes. I wore Highway Glow by Mooncat, which is just this like yellow to greenish. You know, some people will call it yellow. Some people will call it green. Um, polish, cream polish, beautiful. Like I keep saying, Mooncat makes beautiful cream polishes. I love the coloring of this. It's very, very pretty. I also wore it with Zombie Claw, I Am Bad, I Am Evil, I Am Amoa Joa, which is like a uh, purple crelly, and it's got like glitters that are like yellow, uh, blue, pink, white. It's kind of got the same color glitters in there, and I also wore this with um, China Glass, China Glass, China Glaze. Will that be a cup or a cone? which is like kind of like a bubblegum pink um and my kids told me this did not look good together but these two colors are the same in the glitters and I thought it looked okay together um this china glaze this is the one that came out in their um summer collection and I remember when I swatched it, I didn't think the formula was bad, but this was like really runny and it was hard to deal with. I think it did okay, but I might wind up putting this in the giveaway because I have pinks like this and it's not the best formula. I mean, I hate to pawn it off on someone, but it's not the worst formula out there, but it just is very, very runny and you have to watch when you deal with it. And because I remember when I was painting it, I thought it was one from their spring collection, which the formula on their spring collection of that year, um, 2023, I guess, was amazing. And I kept thinking, why is this one so weird? And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, that was that summer collection that everyone hated. And at the time that I swatched it, I thought it was okay. And I do think it's okay, but it's like kind of leans more jelly but it doesn't give you the payoff of a jelly like if you want it to do like a jelly sandwich or a pond effect it doesn't give you that payoff but it's very very runny so I might put that one in a giveaway I wind up rating this a two how could you do somebody like that because even though I do think they matched I don't think they looked that great together um like I said my kids said they did not match but I thought that I could pull them together with these glitters because the glitters in here are this color and this color, but um, I don't think I would wear this. Watch me wear it again next summer. <laughs> I don't think I would wear this combination again, but good polishes. Just don't think I would personally wear them. Okay, we got two more polishes left. So the next polish I wore is from Restored by Polish, which is Material Girl. It reminds me a lot of that Night Owl Lacquer's Gumdrop Soup. Um, I like this one, the formula of this one better. Um, I don't know if the Gumdrop Soup, it's older, so I don't know. It really wasn't thick or anything by any means. Like it's not ready to have like any work done to it to thin it out, but I just wonder if it's gotten you know, if the consistency has changed over the years, because it is older, um, but with this one, this is just, um, a yellow crelly with, it's got neon yellow, neon yellow, neon blue, neon red, it does have little yellow flakies in it, it looks like, or greenish, orange flakies in it, they're not flakies, they're glitters, um, glitters in it, on this, in my pictures, I did wear a yellow blurring base coat, three coats of polish, glitter grabber, glossy top coat. I did use clips to remove this. Um, I wind up rating this a four because one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I cannot wait to wear this again. This polish was so like every time you looked at it, it kind of brought a little smile to your face. It did because it was so cute. It was so like just the yellow coloring of it was spot on because it wasn't um the yellow coloring I don't know how to describe it it was spot on yellow um to do a polish like this in my opinion spot on yellow and the neon glitters in it just made it you know just a very fun polish and when you looked at it you smiled so like I said I rated it a four that one day I'll get you in my hands and I'll play with you because um can't wait to wear that polish again sometimes some sometimes sometime and then the last polish I wore for the month is from Rogue Lacquer, and this is Adventureland, and this came out not too long ago in her Imagineers Land of Ima Imagination. She did like a four-piece collection, and I love a good four-piece collection because, you know, it's enough that 
you know, I don't always buy whole collections. I just buy them, you know, depending on if I like them or not. But a four-piece collection is just price-wise. It keeps it down at a decent price. Um, and I just think it's a good, you know, a good... What am I saying? I think it's a good um, amount. You know, four is a good amount for a collection. Um, for a smaller, like, little collection. Um, this is like a flaky bomb. This would be a flaky bomb. And it is like a green. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. Um, today is August 1st as I'm filming this. But um, I put this on last night, July 31st. So this fell into the July category. But it's got like, um, it's got like green and black flakies. And it's got like some blue. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's going to come off on camera. Some like bluish flakes in there. This reminds me a lot of, I actually have it sitting here, because um, Polished for Days, um, Shadow of the Moon. It reminds me a lot of that. Um, and I love Polished for Days. I do love Polished for Days, but I actually think I like this Rogue formula better on this one because the blue little flakies in here make it pop. And if I remember right, this has a glow that I don't remember the shadow of the moon having. And the shadow of the moon is a lot. Like when you, like, I'm actually putting that one in the giveaway because it's too much for me. And I'm like a light person, but I think that one is too much, um, just too much on your nails in my opinion. Um, but I think I like this one better because it's got a glow to it that I don't remember that one having. Um, yeah, well, I'm looking at that now. It kind of has a glow, but I like the glow in this one. And I like the blue flakies. But in my pictures, I wore a regular base coat, two coats of polish, and glossy top coat. I know I haven't taken this off yet, but it's a flaky, so it will be easy, easy to remove. But the glow, I don't know if I can pull that off on camera. The glow, oh my gosh, the glow. So I wound up rating this a four. Um, cause one day I'll get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I can't wait to play with this polish again. And that is all the polishes I wore for the month of, I was getting ready to say August, but no, all the polishes I wore for the month of July. If you've gotten this far in the video, I mean, I try to say this at the end of these longer videos, but I do so appreciate it. And I appreciate, you know, all my subscribers and I so thank you for subscribing to my channel. But if you're new here and this is your first time seeing me, <laughs> and you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel because I do do a lot of nail content um, on my channel and I also do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. So, you know, you might as well subscribe and try to win some free nail polish, you know, no harm in it, no harm. But I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye guys.